when i started learning new technologies i found it hard to try everything in my laptop because most of the time you will have to install some software or the other and you need the environment which needs to support the system requirements and most of the time that's not feasible because you might be working on an outdated laptop or you don't have the resources which the software requires let's see how we can leverage kata coda to learn lot of new technologies like containers and kubernetes without even having to install these softwares in our laptop the thing which has impressed me is the free access to their vms let's try and explore kata coda let's get started press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss any update from tech primers kata coda is a interactive learning and training platform where you can try lot of new technologies in the real time environment inside your browser so see that if you want to try out docker or kubernetes or open shift or in fact let's say you want to set up a service mesh cluster you can all try these from the browser itself if you are learning machine learning and if you want to understand what machine learning is all about you can definitely do try tensorflow with kubernetes and others in the kata coda website again so these are the different scenarios or courses which are available let's explore how does this course help in getting a interactive environment let's take a look at the kubernetes example i'll click on the start course notice that i have not logged in or signed up there are different scenarios which are present inside this particular kubernetes specific course there are tons of these for the sake of demo i'll just create a single node cluster so i'm just using this scenario launch a single node kubernetes cluster see that you are welcomed with a difficulty level for this particular scenario and the estimation time it takes to complete this particular course and also this says minikube is the tool which is used in this particular scenario so we are going to create minikube so i in fact if you don't like typing you can click this button and it in fact it automatically types here so there is a terminal which opens inside your browser this terminal is nothing but a vm which is created specifically for you if you want to try out something specific you can ignore the rest by maximizing this terminal and then you can start your own commands so here we are just starting a minikube when we start minikube via minikube start it creates a master and in this case we are creating a single node cluster so we can deploy applications in this cluster we can test it we can do whatever we want within this terminal impressive isn't it you don't even need any account to access any kubernetes cluster and obviously this is all for learning purpose so i would suggest use these kind of platforms in a efficient manner so that developers like us benefit from these platforms now let's see what are the different courses which are available let me go back i'll just skip this so the moment i terminate a scenario the vm is terminated so which basically means a resource is freed up let's say i want to learn machine learning so i can go to machine learning scenario see that there are 39 different scenarios you can try machine learning with tensorflow without even having to lease any vm the same applies for docker containers if you want to run containers with docker you can use the docker and container scores if you don't want docker you can use something else if you want to try out service mesh you can again come here and then try service mesh etc if let's say you are new to all these and you want to try out from scratch like try, try out right from git basics you can even do that and see that i am not even logged into this particular website and i still was able to access a kubernetes cluster right out of the box in a terminal in the browser do try and explore kata coda if you are interested in learning new technologies definitely this is the place for you you can access kata coda from this url katacoda.com and then go and learn any new technology for free and the good part is you can try them inside your browser itself without even having to install any software in your laptop i have been using kata coda for a while when i started learning kubernetes and kubernetes had the official documentation link for the kata coda and that's when i got to know about kata coda and it's pretty good do try out and let me know how you feel about accessing kata coda tutorials and accessing these lab environments for free i hope you found this particular tool interesting 
As always, if you like the video, go ahead and like it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to it. Meet you again in the next video. Thank you very much.